Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I woke up, had myself a cup of coffee. This is my second cup of coffee here. And I've been thinking about what I got to do. Walked out into my living room and my kitchen and went, all right, we got to do some work around here today. So it's been just a different kind of week where I don't feel like I kind of stayed in the routine of things that I normally do. I felt like I haven't really kept up on my chores or we just, it's just been off. Can you be off? We can be off, right? Once in a while, we can be off. That's okay. And that happens. And uh, Tuesday, I was feeling that way, remember? And I had my list to get done. Well, that was the random list. There's still like the daily list that didn't get done. <laughs> so, but that's okay. You just roll with what you do in life and just go, all right, tomorrow's a new day. I can do it tomorrow. The, the dishes are still going to be there tomorrow. The piles of laundry are still going to be there tomorrow. All the mess is still going to be there tomorrow. It doesn't magically pick itself up. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> so you just get it done. So like Tuesday, I had my little kind of list of like odd things to get done. I feel good about getting those done. And so now it's kind of more of getting back into like the normal part of life of picking things up and the dishes. I've got my dishwasher going now because we didn't do that and just the random things. So that's what we're going to do today. But what I am going to do first, we went last night. Let me share with you. Um, we've been doing light show or we do light shows at Christmas time. There's a lot down here in the south. I don't know if now they're more popular in the north, but we never went to one at all when we lived in Michigan. And so, but maybe they had them. We just didn't know about them. And so they have, um, it's probably because the ice and the freezing, right? And probably the risk of that. That's what I'm thinking now that I remember thinking about that. Are they just a southern thing? Are like light shows just a southern thing? I don't know. But we would go and drive through neighborhoods because everybody where we lived in the north, you could drive through neighborhoods all day long and see Christmas lights here in the mountains. You can find neighborhoods, but not everybody in the mountains has the Christmas lights because, you know, it's hard to put lights up on a mountain. <laughs> so anyway, so we went to a light show last night. So this year we first went to, last year we went to the North Carolina Arboretum, and it was a drive through because of everything that went on. They, they usually walk through it. And it's usually pretty expensive. I think it's like, I'm going to say $15 a person. So for us, I was like, eh, is that really worth $15 a person? So we never went to the walking part. Well, then they had the drive through last year. So we did the drive through where it was like, I don't know, 30 a car or something, which is typical pricing. So we did that. That was pretty neat. Very neat little thing. It was um, long, good. We enjoyed it. Well, this year they've opened back up and let us walk through. So we did that one last night. So let me share with you the clips that we got from there. I didn't know you were recording. Pink and purple. Posy, those are those are posy colors. <laughs> yeah, mother. None of this is frozen. The grass couches. Are they super soft? They're like like they feel oh, like. Oh, grass couch. Look at these. All these. I did. Just, I just did. Look at. Those are fun. All right, made inside. All right. Look at, look at Maddie's under the Christmas tree. She's frozen. Wait, oh, somebody dropped their thing. Sit by the fireplace because it's freezing. Look at that. Look at these. Do you see these paper things, Brooklyn? We're gonna take a break. We're gonna go on outside. No. Look at the bolts. How they light up. Those are neat. This. <laughs> that would be baked on. That's really pretty. Get married. Okay. Look at these. Let me get you. Look at those balls hanging down. Those look so neat. And look at this one. That house was actually just. Yep. That's the hot cup. Want to go stand in there with them? No. Okay. All right. We got a. Chocolate chip cookie, and then and here some more. I there's a gingerbread man right like here. Ginger. Cider, hot cocoa, and all the, the cookies, is, no hands, and this is little uh, Santa's workshop posy set. Look how cool this is. This is awesome. Look at eating the sada. Look at the tree, all changing colors. Not too bad, little frozen. Boys wearing a pair of shorts, so it can't be that cold. <laughs> Look at those. Oh, it's got elf music. Nice. The fun chair. Are they? Hard? It yeah, it's like literally sending you. That's here. cool. Look at it. And I get a wonderful Look at that. That's the train. I'm gonna go down there and see it. You know what? 
Oh, good idea. Orange. <laughs> Look at the giant bug. <gasps> That's what that is. It was over by the water too. That's cute. A little Stephen, honey. Do you think that's good? Oh my goodness. And the flowers. That's cool. Right here. They move. Right there, they're moving. Look, it's the gnome, the gnome in the canoe. The cold icy water. Don't go by the freezing cold water. I'm digging the gnomes. The bearded gnome. Look at these. The cat tail. The cat tail. Cat of nine tails. The cat of nine tails. The Oh, they're probably, that's kind of, they're supposed to be like butterflies. That's neat. <laughs> You're in my desk. I'm a Stephen. I Ooh, the stars. Oh, hello. Here, Posey, stand in front of it. You can be a star. Ready? Ready? Stand right in front of this one. Like, come over here and stand in front of this one. Ready? Shh, you're a star. Very good. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he ain't even done yet. The worm. He the coffee grinder. What's he? Oh, here goes the backspin. My favorite is when he pulls it out and worship at kids. I'm like, hmm. Look at the lights. Those are, like, so neat. Yeah, those are cool. That's my favorite. Look at these. Look at you guys have the same face. <laughs> what? This thing. The trees here. What do you think, Jensen? Guys. Grandma. Yeah, she she likes coming here. Jensen? No, I'm sorry. I got it. I got it. I was just looking at my picture. Look at it. It's just all white. Uh huh.
That was really neat. It was a really neat time to kind of walk through the Christmas lights and see everything. And I don't know, maybe there an hour and a half. It was pretty, it was cold, but not like frozen, but it, it was, it was pretty chilly. Some of the kids, I was like, you should have worn warmer clothes. <laughs> I did tell them, I did give them winter coat, winter clothes. So that was a good time last night. So today what I'm going to do is share with you how I do my kids snack for Christmas. So we do their presents. We get the kids presents. We set a budget and then um, we let our kids pick out their gifts. I know. They're not like super little. The younger ones, we kind of guide them a little bit. Otherwise, you ended up with a $100 action figure like that was on the list and, you know, things that they'll probably never use. And so we let them pick out their own things. Just that's what we do when they were younger. Obviously, we helped guide them a little bit more. But as they get older, my youngest is nine, they can pretty much kind of know what they like and what they don't like. So we set a budget ordered all those things. We actually did that through Thanksgiving. So all of their gifts almost have arrived. We're waiting for a few more things. I think we've got four more things to come still. And um, we've, Brooklyn's been wrapping those and put them under the tree, which has been great. And then um, what I do is we don't do stockings. I just never have. I stopped doing that a long time ago because in my mind, it was always like treats and snacks. And I had little ones and I'm like, like that's the last thing they need is more candy or treats. <laughs> so I wouldn't do those. I know my husband's family, they do um, oranges like in their stocking and that. And I thought that was kind of neat to do fruit. That's a great idea. Um, but my thought was, it's always like, they're more, just more gifts, just more tiny gifts that they don't need. And I always thought it was like little junky things that would just get wasted. So I stopped doing it. And then for the fact that there's so many people, it's a lot. So what I do instead is I do snack bins for my kids. And so I usually get their favorite treats, their favorite snacks, and put them together in a little basket or a bid and give that to them. It's just something special. Like I know the older ones, I would get them like fun sodas and then their favorite, like I kind of focus on like a salty, a sweet thing and their favorite so you know drinks and that and put them like in a little basket and give it to them and so well this year I did a little bit different as you can see all of the goodies right here there is a lot of goodies in here what I did is this is just for my younger four autumn on down because my um like Evan Jaden and Brooklyn they kind of know what they want they don't really need snacky bins like they don't need um a Spongebob chewy sucker thingies <laughs> They're okay with that. They don't need little squishies and stress balls and that's not as fun for them. So they're more like, eh. So what I did is I asked them specifically what they wanted and I just got them a case. So I went on Sam's Club. Sam's Club's great. I actually was able to order like Oreos and Takis and things like that. There's actually more. We ordered other things too. And just have them shipped to your house at the same price that they would be in the store. Kind of cool. So I ordered, um, like Evan, I asked him what he wanted and he, I got him a case of snacks, a case of, like, it was, it was chip, some kind of Funyuns and um, beef jerky, like the Slim Jims. Just got him a case of those and I was like, all right, there you go. Wrapped up the whole box for him. <laughs> it's their job to be, you know, use discretion and a little bit of like self-control and not eat them all. And then Jade and I did the same thing, asked her what she wanted, got boxes for her. And then Brooklyn, same thing, ordered what she wanted and got her own box. And so they can have their own and they can do with what they want. That way they can eat it at their own, have it at their own, not have to share with anybody. But the younger ones, I thought, hmm, let me do something a little bit different because I wanted to get a couple different neat things for them. So what I got for them, what I'm going to do is um, put together in bins right here. I found these at Big Lots. I was trying to find a big container because it's hard. I should have probably went to the dollar store. I think I found baskets there a few years ago and they were like a dollar, but I was nowhere near the dollar store. So I got these. These are pretty heavy duty. They were $7 at Big Lots, but I figured they can go on their cube shelves when they're done. They can store things, Legos, dolls, Barbies, those things. So I got this to put everything in. And then what I got, let me show you everything that I got. My kids, I guess I'll just go through everything, right? Let me just go through everything. They love these Kinder Bueno. We, a lot of my viewers have been sending me stuff from like other countries and my kids really enjoy Kinder Bueno. So we got Kinder Bueno. So they obviously, I'm separating this between four kids. So I won't do, there's one, two, three, how many is in there? Okay, there's actually 30. So if I divide that by four, it's like seven a person. I'm not gonna do seven a person. I'll just put a few in their bin and then put the rest in my snack bin. <laughs> In the closet to be spread out and the other one's gonna have two so i got those another thing they like is banana milk 
banana milk is something, I don't know, Asian. My kids love Asian snacks. They love going to the Asian store. So banana milk was one thing that they always ask for. I bought these on Amazon, bought the Kinder Bueno. These I can get at my Asian market for super cheap. I ended up paying a lot of money for these and I got back and I was like, wow, that was a lot. I could have bought like two or three of those at the Asian market, but I didn't. That's okay. So I got those and then goldfish. My kids like goldfish. So I got them goldfish. I made sure to ask each of the four what was something specifically they wanted. So goldfish was on their list. They didn't ask for the milk. That'll be a surprise to have. So make sure you do that when you do it. And then they like Pockies. So I got a, a big pack of Pockies and then there was a mixture. It was like an Asian snack thing on um, Amazon and it had these pretz. So I don't know. We've never had this. So I thought that kind of came in the mix and then it had um, these as well. I don't really know what this is. There was a couple of these and then um, yeah, more of the pretz things. So we th I thought, oh, we'll try them, we'll throw them in the mix and see how they like them. I also got these, my kids like these too. I don't know how you say these, but again, it's something on YouTube they've watched. And so what it is, we went to our Asian market and got these. They're a little bit bigger and then I probably paid the same, same price. I was looking at them and I'm like, oh, that's about the same price as going to the store. So I bought them on Amazon. Well, then I realized they're a little bit smaller. That's okay. So what they do is you take the lid off and then there's a thing on top and you smash it down and it's a, basically it's a glass marble. You smash it down, it only goes into like this first part here. It won't go down, the bottle is shaped, see? So it'll stop right here and then it makes it all fizzy. I don't know, kids love it. You don't drink the marble, you don't drink it. It's just something for the ooh ah, something different. So got these in different um, flavors on Amazon. I thought that was kind of neat. That'll be a surprise because they're all like, we want one, we want one, because they see it on YouTube and they want to have one. So I got one for them. Got that there. Also got these ones. They like the Miji, I don't know how you say it, Miji Pandas. Something else they enjoy is the Miji Panda. So I got that for them as well. And then I found, these I just found at Big Lutz. They were the hot chocolate bombs. Yeah, I mean, I've seen where people make these. I just, they were like, I think these were a dollar. That's why I got them. I was like, oh, we'll just try them. So I got four of those for the kids to try out there. And then um, we saw these at the store and they're all like, we want one. Again, spur of the moment purchase. So I purchased those for them. That's four for them right there. I got these again at Walmart. They like these things. So I got four of those for the kids as well. Ramen noodle bowls. My kids like ramen. They love ramen. They love ramen. Could eat it every day. All my kids could. So I ended up getting um, on Amazon. It was the same prices going through um, like Walmart, but these are a different brand. Nongshim, whatever you say that. So I got that and I got a spicy one over here. I think it is. Yeah, spicy chicken. It's over behind there. So that will be something. Just put one in their things, put them away. There's little bowls. I thought that was kind of neat. Got a big thing of Takis. They like Takis. Oreo cookies, they like. These are stress balls. I don't know, it's just a random fun thing. They love all those little fidget toys and just like every kid in the world is loving right now. So this is a whole box of little balls so you can squeeze them, look at it. Yeah, gross. But that's fun. I thought these would be fun. Throw those in the bins. So they've got that. We got little cards in there. Oh, that's kind of neat. I hope you're super proud of yourself because I am. Everything seems nicer and brighter when you're around. Well, those are cute little cards they stick in there. We cannot cure the world of sorrows, but we can choose to live in joy. Well, that's a really neat little cards I add in there. So let me stick those over there. So stress balls, and then um, I ended up getting fuzzy socks. My kids like fuzzy socks, so these ones had animals on them. And here's some other ones. These were animal ones too. I'll get them out and show them to you. So I tried to get different colors so I could do boys and girls because both of them like wearing those. And then we saw these at Big Lots. My older kids, if you're watching, um, we would go to the Amish store in Michigan and then um, the, like I would do my shopping there and get all my stuff in bulk. They had these always there. They were, they were a lot more. They were only $1.50 now. I want to say they were $4 when they were kids, but that was the treat to get. So I would get these for them and they would share the gummies in there. So they have, we picked these up. I think, yeah, they picked the same ones up. Pizza. Again, just random things at Big Lots. We got that. And then I bought squishies. This was something else. I think Autumn picked these out. So I'm like, okay, we'll get squishies. I don't know. Again, something the kids want. I can put those in there. And then watermelon chips. I picked these up for myself. I like, if you like freeze dried stuff, oh, so, so good. To get a freeze dryer would be, like a freeze dryer machine would be amazing. Um, freeze dried pineapple. If you've never tried that before, get it. It is so 
so delicious. So I thought watermelon would be really, really good. So I got that at Big Lights for me. I found one again. I'll eat that later. But um, free, freeze dried. Evan would have somebody at his work. Um, his mom had a freeze dry and she would do candy. And I've watched, I think it's One Acre Farmstead. She has brown hair, I can't remember. But she did some freeze dried treats as well. And she did a bunch of candy the other day. And I thought, that's so great because it like puffs up. He would bring home Skittles and they would like kind of puff and crack. They are so, so good. Very crispy and delicious. She did a bunch of them on her um, channel and great thing to do if you have a freeze dryer. So anyways, freeze dried stuff is amazing. All right, then something else I found after I was looking for all the snacks. I'm sliding over. I just found, oh, I found these two. I thought Jensen, Jensen likes those crazy funny socks. So I picked those up for him. As I was searching for things and different things to put in their bin, I came across these. Poppin' cooking. So I did a little, I was like, what are those things? I did a little YouTube search. These are like all the rage. Like I forgot that my kids, well, when I was searching, I forgot. My kids love to watch people make mini foods. Ever watch those channels where they do like the tiny houses and they do like tiny kitchens and they literally make real food like over a candle and amazing. My kids love it. They love watching that. And as I was doing that, I was like, I found these. So I found these kits called Popping Kitchen and it's little DIY candy kits for kids. Basically, it's all gelatin stuff. And I don't think it, the reviews were like, it doesn't taste amazing, but it's kind of cool to make. So what they do is it shows you step-by-step step how to make things, like how to make mango pudding, how to make ramen toppings, make gyozo, gyoza dumplings make the spring roll and they make these things themselves. So I thought this would be a really cool thing. I ended up getting, I got, they had a whole kit. Like, look at these. Let me open the package. Well, let's open a minute. These had like, look, little waffles, gummy lands that had a ramen. There's donuts, little, whatever those are, sushi. I thought these were really cool. And I thought, wow, if I do one per child, so I bought extra to give them another one because I thought this would be a great fun thing to make just as a neat little, neat little treat to do separately. And then when I was looking for the food, what I also found mini clay making food kits because again, they like watching that stuff and I thought maybe they would like making it. So I found these, they make like little tiny, they each set, can't look, you see all that? Each set comes with like the, all the stuff to make the tiny foods. So I thought this would be a fun family night thing to be able to sit down. There's enough, one, two, three, there's what? There's 10 of them here. So we can each do a, you know, one and then have a few extras. But see, look at YouTube, so they are easy peasy, but they have just different foods to make. I thought this would be a really neat surprise because my kids do enjoy doing that. So these are all the fun things that I'm gonna put into their snack bins today. So then I can wrap them up, put them under the tree, get them out of my bedroom because they've been sitting in the corner for a long time. So let me get it packaged up here and we'll make some fun bins for my kids. And again, this is for my four younger, like the clay kits. I'll give them a few and keep a few extra and then you know we can all sit around the table and do those together. So, all right, let's put some bins together. Okay, finally got all the stuff out of the packages now. I'm gonna take my bins here and separate them. Take the little price tags off. Now these are just for basically autumn on down. So it'll be autumn, Stephen, Maddie, and Jim. And I did get, like I said, there's a few things for like the older ones. For, like the little um, cooking kits and that. And I'll probably just go see if I have a bag or something to put those in. Fill the bins with all the goodies. Like I said, I'm not gonna do double of everything, just put like one in each one because, you know, my kids, they eat all in one day. These are cute. They look like little animal ones. These have little bears. So we'll just put these in there randomly.
All right, so this is good right here. This is a big bin full of stuff, and I still have plenty of stuff over here. So I'm just gonna cover these and then put their names on them, and that's it. Wrap them up with ties and bones. Whatever's in them, no one knows. Oh, can I please, please have? Perfect. I've got my bin stand now with snacks. I gotta go. I have the rest of these in my closet so my kids don't see. They're like, where'd you get the delicious snacks? I'm gonna go get a bag for um, the extra thing. Let me go see what I got. Let me go see what storage I have in my closet. So I found two bags. So this is gonna be Brooklyn and Jaden. They already got their snacks, but there's a few things that we'll do together. So I will fill theirs with the random things. So I think that's it. I was trying to look through. I gave like the girls one of these kits along with one of these. It's just more of us to come together as a family and do it. So I'm going to save these, put these away in my room, and then when we do them, we'll get to do them together. So that will work that way. I don't know who loves the milk more, so I'm going to keep this separate. So again, I'm just going to keep this stuff, economize it, put it together, but at least we've got some gifts. Everybody can make something. Okay, so feeling good. This was something big on my list going through. So there's, there's a lot, because I had a couple extra. I'm like, who do I give them to? So everybody's got one. I'm gonna have to get tags. I just put sticky notes on there. I'm gonna let Brooklyn, because she does the whole, um, what are we doing? We're doing, um, not Asian, is it Asian? Korean, she's writing their names in Korean. So I'm gonna let her do that. So like I said, I gave her a bin full of extra. I gave Jaden, hers, hers is smaller, because she already got her snacks. She's not into like kinder eggs, things like that. But I put in there um, one of those clay kits and one of those little, like food ones, the pop-in kitchen, the cooking things, put in there for her, and then also one for Greg and I in this, you know, fun little box here. So when everybody opens, I'll say that'll be a nice family night that we can do together so everybody can sit around and make their mini foods. And then I gave the cup, I had two extra kits, and I feel like Madeline and Autumn would more than likely want to do that on their own versus Jensen and Steven. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm feeling like they will want to do a little bit extra. So these are good here. So I've got these done. The only other thing I have to do for gifts is, um, Yes, for your older ones. Things look into like older ones outside the house, Mary. Find out like if there's things they need, like maybe someone's a new appliance, like a air fryer, or maybe they need a blender, something like that. Maybe, I know, practical sometimes is good when you're older. And then cash is always good too, because you know, they're still young, married, and they want to spend or go out to dinner, things like that you can do. Um, even if you have ones that, like I know we've done like sushi kits, because I thought we've had made, like to go out and buy sushi is delicious. I don't like it, but people do but you can make it really inexpensively for yourself if you have all the ingredients so put in there go on amazon and buy yourself the rolling mat they have like a co sushi kits too where it includes everything the rice paddles the chopsticks all that and the little rolling mats and then buy a package of the seaweed that they roll up i think they call it something else but basically it's seaweed sheets and then get the rice that goes with it and then they can get their own filling so that's a really neat and then you can do a nice little gift to put together and they can make their own sushi at home because it is rather simple to do themselves so that's something you can do that way also um um, I'm trying to think it's just things for the home things that'll bring them together as a couple you know and like little date night things and you can do different charcuterie boards you can do you know um, different board games games they can play together so a whole lot of things that can you can do for you know older kids things like that that are outside of the home just things that maybe they could use in their daily life because sometimes it's more the practical versus the you know but sometimes it's the personal things that they want to and if there's something personal that's a good thing too so I've always found girls are a little bit easier to buy for just because I'm a girl maybe I guess if I was a guy it'd be easier to buy for guys I don't know, but sometimes it seems like the men in your life, they're like, what do they actually need? So we'll do things like, you know, meat sticks and jerky. Go get like nice ones, like like different ones. If you can only go like to Walmart, get some, get like the nicer expensive ones. There's really good ones. Or if you have like stores in your area, like we have a lot of um, tourist areas, so you can go in and get like ostrich jerky or, you know, random things. Elephant, I don't know if they have elephant jerky, whatever kind of jerky, just specialty jerky. <laughs> we got some when we went to uh, Turkey, we got like this, the different random ones. So things like that, you can, I'm sure you can buy them online as well go find a jerky shop online and send those to guys that's those are just gift ideas you know food things that they need for the car car cleaning kits like yeah, guys usually like to clean their car usually sometimes girls do too but um 
um, get the car cleaning kits, but get the nicer scents. So, like sometimes I have the whole buckets with everything in it, and those are good too. But get like the wipes, or get the the nice tire shine, and the you know the little chamois things like that. And those are good gifts to get. I think my grandma she used to give everybody windshield wiper fluid, which was a random thing, but like she's got one for everybody. So then fill up your car with windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> Things like that. You know, my other grandma would do um, McDonald gift certificates to everybody. So every grandkid got like a, I think it was the $5 McDonald, like the little coupons or, you know, wherever, Chick-fil-A, anything. But just everybody got it so that everybody looked forward to getting their little McDonald coupons every single year. So just something, keep a tradition going with things that you get. Like if you do the snack bins, we'll probably always do the snack bins for the kids instead of stockings and maybe as the kids all grow up and get older and get married and we come together maybe I'll just do individual ones for families and just do you know favorites of everybody I don't know just fun thing ideas you can do and then also for guys you know what I found as good gifts are those extra wallets remember these things Greg and I were showing these a little while ago we had got them last year for him and he really really enjoyed them and so we got him an upgrade this year of a new one and so they that's what you can give for guys so they have these uh, this is the aluminum one and it does the same thing where you push the button like this and the cards sorry it's backwards let me do the right way this way and the cards shoot out and you can put your cards in there you can get a tracker card to put in here as well so you can hook the app up to your phone and then if you lose your wallet you can find it so this was the aluminum one this is nice it's like hard just a lot lighter greg said he always felt like he was losing his wallet because it was so light but just more of a minimalistic kind of look and then this is the parliament one like he has this just in black same thing just shoot the cards out look at that and then you can still put things in the side have room for a tracker card or for money you know because not many people carry cash anymore but if you did you can stick it in there so they have the parliament one as well and then they have a modular bifold and so if you want more of the traditional wallet and so this is magnet on here look at this that sticks on by magnet in there that's kind of neat so that's really cool it sticks right in there so you can put things in here and also put like if you carry bills in here and then just fold it up inside nice thin wallet and good colors these are really neat just a different gift and these are really good wallets i know some of you got them for others as gift because you thought that was a really neat idea so here is the again more wallets from exter so if you guys want any of these they'll be linked below um, so you can get them for the for the men in your life or even the woman if you enjoy doing have these things you might want a little i was like hmm, maybe i need to get a little throw my cards out kind of wallet because that's really really neat to have and really neat idea just another neat gift idea if it's hard to find for those that you love in your life that you're buying gifts for but i thought extra wallets are always a good thing to do so i don't mind sharing these with you guys because i think they're a great product so these will go to the men in my life which is really cool so they'll have the nice traditional wallet with the magnet thing on there which is awesome parliament like this open up and then the aluminum all the different kinds that they have their website so i'll put the link below probably give you a coupon code for some if you want to get some for your family so all right i am done i'm done with all of my gift done we have one more box of things to wrap brooklyn will probably do that today and then we're just waiting for a few more gifts to come so presents mark that off my list of things to get done today this puts me a little bit behind today in the household but that's okay we're getting there i wanted to get those buckets filled and done now i'm into my kitchen here so i've got a few dishes i gotta get breakfast rolling so the kids can uh, you know move and have breakfast i pulled out our mini pancake muffins we're gonna have these for breakfast today and then I'm gonna make a smoothie with the yogurt cups that I froze because I have a ton of those in there. Kids are tired of yogurt cups, so I'm gonna throw them all in the blender and mix them up. It's delicious. You don't even know that like there's stuff in it. So again, when you have things that kids are tired of eating, you just kind of mix them up and it tastes fine again. Like these, we have a lot of these. And we, um, we've been eating a lot of them, but it's time to do a smoothie. <laughs> they don't mind having them, but sometimes when you uh, just disguise things back up, kids eat it and it's like no big deal so stick them all in your blender and blind blend them up kids will eat them they'll be delicious i'm going to put these in here and then we'll have some pancakes because these have been in my freezer for a little bit and they're just ready to be out of there so we can make room for other things oops don't throw the silicone in there so gather new fragments on a thursday too that's a good thing to do so i'm going to put these in here i just pulled these out of the freezer a couple hours ago so they kind of be thawed a little bit but I've got two here. Ooh. And then we're gonna have a good day today. So getting things done. I made a list in the refrigerator of the things that the kids can help with and get accomplished. And we're gonna have a great day getting it all in and done. Like I said, so getting those things accomplished makes you feel a whole lot better. Maybe your day started late. And that's okay. Maybe you had a rough night. Maybe you didn't sleep well. Maybe you just have struggles going on. Maybe it's just the time of year. And 
you know you're thinking about things and it's just gets depressing i get you and so just okay what do i got to do today what is it my step that i have to take today to get through my day so focus on those kind of things that'll help you get through things all right i think i gotta put a little bit of milk in here and blend it up Okay, smoothies all mixed up. Look at that. It's like pureed smoothie. I put a little almond milk in there just because that's all I had. These with some syrup. Kids are having breakfast. Getting the house cleaned up. We're going to keep going. Okay, so the vacuums are gone. We're getting chores. Now. I'm going to hurry up and make some soup. It's like a risotto. I think that's what this stuff is called. Soup. Basically going to put some, I have some vegetable broth. I'm going to put a little bit of chicken in there and mix vegetables. That's it. I'm not going to put any chicken, real chicken in there. And then just this, let it cook. And we've got bread, hard bread. We're going to like ciabatta rolls. Is that how you say it? And with a little bit of butter, we'll put it in the air fryer. That'll be crispy, crunchy for lunch. Something simple and easy. Okay, we're vacuuming, getting things done. So the soup is boiling here. I'm just gonna add some of this. About half of this. Really simple, let this boil and be done. I'm gonna make the bread for it. It's gonna be like a crusty, garlicky Parmesan cheese bread. Okay, so the kids are, we're gonna finish up our chores, getting things done. I was gonna try to get out the door first and take Jade to college, but then it's not gonna happen. So <laughs> I'm gonna just pick her up and then we'll go out. We have to go out, hit our library, and uh, she's got a couple crafts and stuff for us, but I'm like, it's just not happening right now. So I'm gonna finish up lunch right now. So the soup is boiling, that'll be done in a minute. I'm gonna take, I had a bunch of this in my freezer left over. These little rolls, they're kind of like, you know, harder. So I'm gonna cut it in half, put a little bit of butter on it, and put some garlic seasoning and Parmesan cheese on it, big stuff, and put it in my air fryer for crispy, crunchy bread to go along with lunch. Okay, then you're gonna put these in your air fryer. You can put them in your oven too, but I'm just gonna do the air fryer because I can probably stack a bunch on the rows and get done quick. Okay, first the top row came out. Look at these crispy. I took up a piece. That's really good. So this will be good with our soup today. So what I'm doing while the rest are going, I'm gonna put together one of my gifts, you know, that I made yesterday. We're actually gonna be heading out into our community. So I'm gonna put together one to put in a bag to give, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we're getting there. So I've got my little bags here. I got it from Walmart for 98 cents. So this will be where everything goes inside. Remember my bread? Bread will be really good. Put that in there in the bottom. And then I've got my honey butter. I'm gonna actually, I need a pretty label, but I'm going to, hold on, I gotta go to pen. Okay, I had to go get a bunch of stuff. So I had to get my marker to write in here, put on here honey butter to let soften. And then I was just, I'm like, oh, I gotta get all my stuff out here. I've got my peanut brittle. So I'm gonna put one of those in a bag here. I'm gonna use delicious peanut brittles in here. This will be perfect. I know it's like a big bag full of peanut brittle, but that will be a nice gift. Set that in there, close my ones up nice and good so they last. And then what else do we have? We have a bunch. We have our potpourri, which I have the little, I cut, I put a little thing in here. I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna write on there what this is and what to do with it.
that was an easy way to put that gift together for a community worker that we're going to give that to today that we're going to go see. So I'm going to take the rest of my gingerbread. Remember, I was going to put strings on them, put on my Christmas tree, and that never happened because, you know, life. So I'm going to make sure I pick out the good ones to give as gifts. And then I think I have one, too. Yes, I think I got those four to give as gifts. I'm going to keep those gifts. The rest, I'm going to tie this. This is really pretty yarn, string, whatever you want to call it. I'm here and hanging on my Christmas tree. See how that looks on there. Okay, so those look really cool on the Christmas tree. I'm thinking even next year, I might even do popcorn strands with the, um, I was gonna do the berries, like the cranberries mixed in, we'll see. I've been like looking at them like, I kind of like the old fashioned, but sort of modern look. So I'm like, mm, Andy then gingerbread, I like that, but I like the berries in there. So maybe like a natural, I guess natural versus old fashioned. So maybe I'm thinking that I'll maybe get some of the popcorn strands, we'll see. Maybe I should just buy one and see how it looks. That's what I should do. Get a small one, see how I like it on there, and then invest in a bunch because I think that looks really neat. We had, my mom had um, crocheted, she had a lady crochet popcorn, like a humongous, she had this huge ball of popcorn crocheted, <laughs> and then we would wrap that on the Christmas tree. That was really cool. And then maybe Jade, and Jade, you want to crochet your mommy a bunch of popcorn? I don't know. <laughs> and then um, she had like wooden beads strung on a uh, string for cranberry so very cool but I know Hobby Lobby has them like plastic basically even Amazon so I thought maybe I'll pick up some if I head out that way and get some just to see what it look like but I think I might like that for the tree just to change things up because I like that whole natural thing on there I like in the the berries on it like in the simple like pine cones things like that with the snow so we'll see all right so I got that part down in my life when I do with the gifts this out for one of our community workers clean up my mess I've got a few more gingerbread obviously for my next ones I'll do but I won't do them all in one day so we're just gonna keep going soup is done so is delicious crunchy bread here and then the kids will have that and then I'm gonna get making dinner because we have to leave this afternoon okay I've been doing school getting things done kids had lunch I still have a whole container left and some bread so that'll be good for tomorrow and then um, I'm gonna get out stuff for flatbread tacos for dinner tonight okay I'm working quickly so I gotta get out the door so flatbread taco this is the easy dinner Grab it out of the freezer. Here it is, freezer meal. Put it in a glass dish. I'm gonna put it in the microwave, heat it up. That's gonna be the bark base of it. And then we'll put some, I don't know if I'll do ranch. I'll just do sour cream. We usually mix ranch and sour cream. I'm just not gonna get there tonight. And that's okay. Some days you can't. So this is gonna go in here. Ooh, push the lid down like this. Put it in the microwave, which I will when we get it. These, you roll out with a rolling pin. And I have a griddle here. We're just gonna cook them on there. It's real simple, easy, so good. So you're gonna put the 
biscuit flattened. When you serve it, the correct way is to mix sour cream and ranch powder. Let that sit for a little bit so it can absorb it. Spread that on. Put the meat mixture on top, which is basically taco meat and um, chili beans, and then put lettuce and salsa, whatever you want on top. Cheese is really, really good. So let's roll out some of these, cook them over here. Okay, so that is how we're gonna do dinner. So I just put those, if my girls would do it, they'd make them really thin and they'd get really big, but I just was hurrying up and then they kind of rise back up. So just take your time. I'm just in a hurry because I gotta get out the door. So put that down, it'll be your base. Put some sour cream on it or sour cream and ranch mixture. The meat mixture with the pinto beans or chili beans and meat, taco meat, and then some cheese, lettuce, salsa, anything on top that you want. So I'm gonna close today's video because we are gonna head out the door. We gotta go head to our library and post office and grab Jaden and all the things we gotta do on a Thursday. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another video. All right, we'll see you. Bye.